So my name is Lisa Webb, I teach Graphic Design, I'm the course director for Graphic Design and Masters. I think employability has become increasingly important over the last uh, decade really um, for university students, you know, lots of metrics are, are, are particularly being measured at the moment, um, but I think the reality of um, the workplace, it's got much more competitive um, and employers are expecting graduates to hit the ground running. The employability units have been uh, incredibly useful for our department. Um, I think it's uh, fantastic this year we've seen the department grow and the support that, that's come in, uh, into departments has become much stronger and much more focused. So I've been working in this area with personal development planning and employability uh, within graphic design probably now for, oh, I don't know, about eight, eight or ten years. And I've seen, um, you know, we've received support in the past from the Good Careers Department um, and from Creative Futures. Um, and each year I've seen that the departments have been able to um, better the offer and better the um, services and support that they're able to give. What's been particularly useful from um, our local employability unit is the focus they've got on the creative industries. And that's kind of specialist knowledge uh, that they're able to offer our graduates. The Creative Futures, our, our local employability unit, has um, offers specialist and focused advice to our uh, students. Their, their, their advice is centred around the creative industries, um, they're in touch with local industry, um, and they are able to support both graduates and undergraduates looking at placements, preparations for their CVs, uh, talk to them about interviews, um, uh, and about their kind of preparations for industry, for talking to employers, um, and making it happen, so it's that actual practical uh, service that they're able to add. Um, for me, uh, w within the, the curriculum as well, um, I've enjoyed welcoming in Creative Futures, both on the undergraduate programme and to the master's programme, where we um, also have uh, students from um, uh, many inter international kind of countries uh, and talking about you know the international kind of preparations and offer as well um, and getting students to think about the relevance of their practice um, and their subject knowledge and subject expertise and how they're beginning to apply that kind of theory and put that into practice uh, and getting them to think about those uh, opportunities for their future aspirations, whatever they might be, and to be able to sort of target that in terms of their community of practice. So being able to do that in the curriculum um, and then also actually seeing that happen has allowed me to see my students both go and get placements and go and get opportunities in the re real world. And then what I've been able to see um, in more recent years is as those graduates have gone out and got opportunities is they come back to us and then they make offers back to our students um, again and they come in and they'll come and talk to us as alumni about their experiences and achievements, um, offer placements and graduate uh, opportunities. We've developed a programme on graphic design that um, starts in first year getting students to think about their um, personal and professional development. We make that more practical in their second year of bringing creative futures to uh, offer advice on getting placements, talking about um, how they prepare themselves for you know, their, their outward facing uh, uh, work. And, um, you know, and again, Creative Futures will come in in the third year and help students prepare towards the kind of degree show and beyond for, for graduation. Um, so all of those things kind of join up. Um, and because of that kind of consistency of approach and message, um, students kind of develop that trust that they can come down and 
see people who have that subject knowledge and expertise in our employability unit who can point them in the right direction. So that's also become really important. You know, so you, you know that the people here are um, maintaining those industry relationships as well. So that's, yeah, I, I, I've seen it really help our students. But no, I haven't actually. Uh, I'm sure it exists elsewhere. The, the kinds of sort of services we, hear, we offer here at Coventry University, I think in terms of their personal development planning and um, support from our employability unit, and I think the way that we try to make those work together, I would suggest is probably fairly unique to Coventry University. I've had parents actually tell me that they've had their, their own children um, here at Coventry University and other universities, and they've told me they've seen a difference in the services that we offer. Um, I can only say from my own experience, and I think that partnership and that specialist knowledge is something that we're very good at. My students on graphic design, um, we get them thinking about the community of practice um, with some level of depth from their second year onwards and we ask students or challenge students to think about their creative practice in fairly broad terms. Um, so we see students graduate and go into all sorts of fields, particularly within the creative industries. So we have students working in advertising, packaging design, um, design agencies, branding agencies, digital media, social media. Um, our students go off and set up their own businesses. We've had students go into games design, um, animation, filmmaking. Um, had students recently who, as part of their second year experience, took a little bit of a curveball and developed an interest in international travel and um, other languages uh, and so that's where they've taken their practice this last year they've gone off to te teach English as a, as a second language um, we have people who've gone off and done PhDs have become teachers we have students who enter competitions so we had a student a couple of years ago who um, enters a competition which was for a graduate opportunity which uh, was with interface design uh, he won that opportunity, got a placement with um, IBM um, and uh, he came back to us last year with IBM. They offered a workshop to our students, again offering new opportunities to our students. So um, he was uh, a student who also um, was creating printmaking works um, and you know I think he was trying to sort of publish and exhibit some of those works as well. We've had students over the last year get um, placement opportunities and competitions with, with companies like Saatchi and Saatchi. Um, they, they do it all, you know, our job really is to, to try and encourage them to have the confidence to give things a go and to uh, uh, and make it happen. Students are hugely resourceful. Um, students within the creative industries, I think, have lots and lots and lots of skills. When I ask my graphic design students about what skills they have, I very often um, get all of the typical design skills that you might expect. So I can use Photoshop, I can use InDesign. Um, and then you kind of encourage them to think a bit beyond the technical stuff and the software skills and they talk about developing concepts and their making skills and printmaking. Um, but moreover, they're recognising also that they've got communication skills, project management skills, team working skills um, and those kind of soft skills which are crucial. And again, I think this is something that Coventry University is very good at, is getting our students to be able to articulate their work well and their ideas and um, owning their work with confidence.
and, and, and having a voice. And I think within the creative industries, that's crucial.